Hi right, guys, um, uh, this is going to be a video on how to uh, boot up uh, Super RAM 1.5 from your phone. In the last video, I thought, uh, due to trial and error, I thought that you know, with this ROM, if you turn it off, you turn the phone off, or made it, or made the phone die. Um, you would lose all your apps, everything, and you would have to start the whole startup process over again. And what I mean by that is creating your Gmail, creating your Twitter accounts, put them back on there, signing in, and all of that. That's what I thought would happen. But that only happens with the Desire HD ROM. I had that ROM before, and I thought, you know, hey, it might happen to this one. So tell you guys to watch out for that and uh, actually it doesn't happen with this one I tried it for myself and now I'm going to make a video on how to boot it up from your SD card since I didn't get to do that in the last video so let's cut to the cheese alright so I'm gonna power it off let's just go to reboot Okay, I'll just power it off then. So, okay. Shut it down. Put it shut down. And remember, this is after you drag the Android folder into the uh, onto the SD card. To the root of the SD card. That. And after that, I'm going to show you the steps there. Due to time limits, you know, I only have 15 minutes to create the video, I couldn't show you everything. So now, this is basically a part two. So we'll just wait for this to load up. Might take a while because some reason it starts to move slow while booting up but it's no problem we all can be patient <coughs> alright so this is the same windows crappy 6.5 that nobody likes it's launching HTC Sense we all hate it it's lame this phone should have had Android to start with all right, and you see that you're here, right? You're here at the regular home screen, right? Everything works sort of what fine. You could already see that it's laggy, but all right, now it's working, okay. You know, this is your normal stuff. All right, let's, yeah, I hate this long. Let's get, let's, let's get back to Android. I can't stand this. Um, then you're gonna scroll down, you're in, click the start button you're gonna scroll down to file explorer which is this alright see you already see that it's I'm in the Android folder but let me back out this is not the root yet this is inside the Android folder okay you're gonna be in storage card right you're gonna be here this is the root of your SD card the root this is where all the files all the stuff is right then you're gonna go this is where your uh, Android folder is supposed to be which is right here mine is right here Android it says Android right there this is where you're gonna drag that folder into here where you would see your transformers your other pictures you know your programs your documents your music that's where you drag it in that's the root you don't do anything else but drag that whole folder into here. Alright, so now I'm gonna go on over to Android. Where where is it? Uh, right here. I'm gonna click on it. It's gonna take you here. Now, you're supposed to click on C L A D C L R C A D excuse me, sorry. And you're gonna press it. 
and um, people say that is just for sound to enable sound to work so you press it you know nothing is supposed to happen nothing pops up nothing but you press it oops you press it nothing's supposed to happen then you go on over to Harriet sorry Harriet and it's automatically going to say booting Linux remember you press clear add then Harriet then now uh, it's supposed to boot up now I'm supposed to wait booting really doesn't take that long for me it doesn't uh... it's exceptional it's not too long it's not as long as the regular windows 6.5 boot but uh... it shouldn't take long yeah. oh yeah so the screen is going to turn black right the screen turns black and then background pops up and everything starts up so as you can see the time the date and all of that is the same you can see my alarm clock for Wednesday 6.58 a.m. is still the same all my stuff is saved you know Skype my Skype app pops up right here well it just went away but my Skype app was there so everything runs smooth says T-Mobile everything so I slide to unlock and there's my regular home screen this is what you've seen early in the video before I turned it off so guys I hope this helped you out a lot if you have any problems run into any problems I'll be more than happy to help you and uh, enjoy your Android 2.2 hope you guys get it on your phone if you're trying to get it so uh, remember just comment if you have any problems anything and uh, I'll be happy to help thanks